All right. Good morning, everybody. It is the AMI Circle for Tuesday, April 17th, and that means in the U.S. it's tax day. Hopefully uh, nobody got beat up too bad by tax day. Uh, me personally, I haven't seen a tax refund in many years, which I guess is the, the, the price of success here in the U.S., but ho hopefully it went better for you guys. Uh, but anyway, on to, on to more pleasant things. Um, I've got some spots in my everyday breathwork webinar still available that I've been talking about. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a really short webinar, so it's not going to be a huge time investment on anybody's part. I know that's one of the questions I had a little while ago, but it's only going to be about a half an hour. We're not going to go super deep into, like, you know, the anatomy and physiology of breathing. Basically, we're just going to talk a little bit about kind of how what, what we use breathwork for and how it, how it can fit into your day. And then we'll give you some kind of some drills and some ideas that'll kind of get you started in building your own your own sort of breathing practice and then from there you know if you want to go into like something like the Wim Hof method or oxygen advantage or or system of breathing you know you'll have a good good jumping off point to kind of really start to incorporate you know breath work meditation you know that sort of thing that sort of practice into your day which I would honestly it's one of the things that really just changed my life you know when I started getting into it years and years ago and actually like kind of being like sort of I guess conscious about my breathing um huge difference in everything and you know me personally how i train so so definitely check this out and it, it, this one's free like you know the this this first webinar no cost to you so you know it's just it's just 30 minutes of your time is all i'm asking for and uh yeah come come join us for that that'll be fun like i said leave a comment either wherever you're watching this video just leave a comment or dm me and i'll add you to the group that's gonna happen here in a couple weeks uh viking ninja martial arts training june 16th boise idaho the link for that will also be in the comments uh again we'd love to see some folks there and I, I think we've got a good thing going. I, you know, I really do. I'm very excited about this. Uh, this kind of idea of, of um, I call it martial. You know, you know, we say non-traditional martial arts. I call it martial arts for wellness. Is the term that I've been hearing. Kind of people sort of outside this. You know, Viking Ninja use, which I really like, because that, that really does kind of like that really does crystallize to me what we're trying to do. Is you know, we're trying to take these kind of these skilled sort of movements from martial arts and relate them back to sort of more basic training. So so now what you've got is you've got this whole system where you know, you get some 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 foundational training, movement and resistance training. You know, with with the tools like maces and clubs and, and your body weight, and then you move to kind of more of a skilled kind of play type practice. And that, that's what I'm really excited. That's what I'm really excited to be teaching people um, Filipino martial arts in this context is because that you know that play aspect I think is so important. So you know. In, if you know anything about Filipino martial arts, we do we do a lot of live what we call live drills. So it's not just a series of movements; it's a series of movements that. But you have to kind of pay attention to what you're what you know what the person you're working with is doing. So you know, and there and there's a whole kind of spiel I have about you know kind of flow and you know like like exercising skill under under uh, stimulus and stuff. And we'll, we'll go into that there. That's uh, but anyway, the link for that will be in the description. So um, yeah, sign up. We'd love to see some folks there. Uh, let's see anything else yes the podcast i do with the steel mace warrior is out now uh, i'll have a link to that and uh, go give that a listen if you uh, if it generates any questions for you hit me up you know, we'll talk about them at some point and um yeah that's all the housekeeping so speaking of question let's go ahead and dive right in i got a dm on instagram from somebody this is from our, our buddy jeremy and he says hey coach i started following you after seeing a video on the on an academy instagram of you like what you do and would love to know how to get started in unconventional training thanks all right, straight into the point. Well, so the way I look at unconventional training is I look at it like almost like anything else. You know, uh, one of my coaches has a great saying. He's, he likes to say, low and slow is how we grow. And I think with unconventional, with what, what we're talking about is unconventional training. And I know people, different people have different thoughts on that whole term. It's kind of like the term creative coder, just to be techie. But uh, yeah, you know, for me, that, that's just, that's the term we're going to use. We'll just use unconventional training. And that means, you know, things like what the Yonan Academy does, things like what Viking Ninja Training does, you know, kind of more advanced, sort of more, um, not advanced, but um, let's just say different body weight training, because uh, I, I don't want to put anybody off by thinking, oh my God, this is advanced. And no, you don't, you don't, you really, you literally don't have to, I mean, you know, y yeah, it's not advanced. Okay, that's, let's, let's, let's just, yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, sorry, bad choice of words. But um, yeah. Start, start, start low. Uh, start with a low weight and go slow. Um, a lot of the movements that you're going to see, um, even something as basic as a kettlebell swing, is actually a really skilled movement. There's a lot going on there. So, start with a low weight. Same with a, like a Mace 360, especially incredibly skilled movement. So there's actually, it's actually almost more of a practice than just kind of mindlessly ripping out, right? So. So I would say start, you know, start with a low, like, like start with light weights, you know, 10 pound maze, five, 10 pound clubs, whatever your choice is, you know, light kettlebell, you know, you know, I, I actually say like start with an eight or a 12 kilogram kettlebell, you know, like, you know, go, you know, go again, you know, 
you know, check, check your ego just for a little bit. It will pay off in the long run. And secondly, you know, get, to, if you can, if you have access to a coach, get, you know, go, it, you know, it just means going to a seminar, going to a workshop, get, get really coached up on this stuff because, you, you know, this, this is not the stuff you want to try and learn from YouTube. This is, this is the kind, I mean, it's almost like, it's like powerlifting, Olympic lifting, you know, any of those skilled things. Like you want to, you want somebody to have eyes on and really be able to kind of tweak your form now so that like, you know, so you don't tweak yourself later. Right. So, so that, that's kind of the short answer, man. Low, slow. That's how you grow and, and get a coach, you know, and, and even like I said, there are some good, there's some decent video programs out there. You know, one of the ones I would recommend for unconventional training, um, actually there's a couple. So there's the warrior evolution program. I'll have a link to that in the description. That's uh three of the, three of the coaches from Neon Academy. So it's pretty good. There's uh, the kettlebell difference, which is uh, Marcus Martinez's uh, kettlebell. He, he's also a, a coach. Of, he's another. Co he's a coach of the On Academy, and he also did the kettlebell chomp for Warrior Evolution and um, uh, Viking Ninja Training. Come to one of our workshops. Uh, let's see. Is there another good program I would recommend? Those are the two that come to mind. Um, there's a bunch of stuff out there. I know On Academy on demand. They're looking to spin that back up. That's another way I'd go with it. Um, and like I said, I'll, I'll post links to all this stuff in the description. But uh, yeah, that's what I got. Thanks. Cheers.